Apple just released a software update to fix one of the biggest complaints about the iPhone 14 Pro's lock screen and its always on display feature. I'm Jason Cipriani and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm going to quickly walk you through how to adjust the settings that are now in Apple's latest software for the iPhone. So one of the loudest complaints about the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max and the always on display is that people are always looking at their iPhone thinking it's not going to sleep and it's still awake. And part of that is, is because the wallpaper is visible and so are your notifications. And having an always on display makes it seem like your phone doesn't ever truly go to sleep. Android has been doing always on display stuff for years. And the way that works is it shows you the clock and maybe some icons for your notifications and that's it, you don't see much else. So in iOS 16.2, which Apple just released, there's two new settings that you can change to make your iPhone 14 Pro's always on display work more like an Android device and it actually makes it a lot easier and a lot better to use in the overall experience. So the first thing you'll want to do is install iOS 16.2. You could do that by going to the settings app, general software update, and then following the prompts to install the update, it's just like any other software update. Once iOS 16.2 is installed on your iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max, what you'll need to do then is go back into the settings app, scroll down and find display and brightness, scroll down until you find always on display, and now you have two options. There is show wallpaper and show notifications. Turn either one of those off to tailor it how you would like the experience to look on your always on display. I have both of them off because I don't want people seeing what notifications are on my lock screen even when it's locked and the always on display is working and I don't really need to see the wallpaper. Plus, in my anecdotal experience in the last couple of weeks during the beta process, this has helped improve battery life just a little bit on iPhone 14 Pro Max. Once those settings are toggled off and your phone is locked, the only thing you should see are your widgets and your clock and anything else that you have added widget-wise there. But notifications aren't going to show up and your wallpaper is completely gone and the experience is a little easier on the eyes and not as jarring. I'm Jason Cipriani. Thanks for watching this ZDNet how-to video. It's a quick tip that hopefully makes the always on display experience a little bit better for you. Make sure to visit ZDNet.com for more tech tips just like this one as well as all the latest tech news and info.